clothing retailer Abercrombie & Fitch has hired a law firm to investigate disturbing allegations of sexual assault abuse against its former CEO. In a BBC investigation, several men, some of them named and on camera, accused Mike Jeffries of exploiting them for sex. Jeffries was CEO from 1992 to 2014 during the height of Abercrombie & Fitch's popularity. In a statement to NBC News, a company spokesperson says it is, quote, appalled by the allegations. Jeffries' attorney declined to comment to NBC. Joining us now, NBC News correspondent Maura Barrett, and here in studio with us is NBC News Now legal analyst Angela Sanadella. Uh, Maura, I'll start with you. We, we want to be clear that no criminal charges have been filed as of now. Can you take us through the allegations in the BBC report? Right, Kate. No criminal charges yet. This BBC report just published this week, and it alleges that 12 men are saying that they were involved in or uh, were had to help organize sex parties for the former CEO, Mike Jeffries, and his partner, Matthew Smith. Now, some of them saying that they were exploited, uh, that they didn't participate willingly. Some of these men even alleging abuse. And so, obviously, very serious allegations. They said that these parties happened all over the world uh, in big, major cities uh, over a time period between 2009 and 2015. Now, you mentioned that Jeffrey's attorney declined to comment on his client's behalf, and he also made a note saying that it's his, his client's practice not to comment on matters around his personal life. Now, there's also allegations in this report saying that the company paid settlements uh, for Jeffrey's after allegations of misconduct, even though the company is saying that they were appalled by those allegations around these parties. Now, the BBC is standing by its reporting, noting that some of these men were on the on the record and on camera, also saying that they uh, completed extensive fact-checking, talking with dozens of other sources to corroborate uh, the men's claims, as well as checking, uh, cross-checking flight itineraries, emails, tickets of those natures to make sure over this two-year investigation that they were getting their facts straight. But obviously, some very serious allegations uh, for Jeffries right now, guys. For sure. Angela, I want to bring you in and talk a bit about liability here, because the company is saying, or a spokesperson told NBC News, that leadership and the board executives were not aware of this behavior. Does that sort of remove them from any liability here? No, that argument does not work at all. And that's because at a leadership level, it really matters what you should have known. It's not just what you literally did know. If we operated like that, then it would give an incentive to companies to just close their eyes and just not have any idea what's happening. However, what I do think is relevant is Mora mentioning the settlement agreements. Because you know what happens in a settlement agreement if you're a victim? Well, you get money in response for releasing all claims. So you're receiving a payment, and in that you're saying, I will never sue you, the company, for anything that has to do with that. So I expect anyone who has received a settlement from that company will not be able to sue. That will protect the company from liability. Okay. And we don't know if people that are making these allegations are the same people that potentially maybe had settlements, That's right? That's exactly true. So you're right. There could absolutely be many more victims who didn't settle, and that would not protect the company from liability. Angela Sanadella and Maura Barrett, thanks to you both. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.